Timbers! Welcome, Buccaneers, to the Pixel Pirate Plays. This is your host, Pixel Pirate, and today we're taking a look at a game called Solar War. Solar War is developed by Snipefish Entertainment, and you can currently pick it up on Desura for around $13. Not bad. It is a strategy game. It's kind of a mix between several games. Uh, one game that struck me the most, though, is XCOM. Uh, let's have a look at the options. Got the graphics options here. Full screen and windowed mode. I don't know why he did this, but he did. He, he used uh, odd... Well, not odd. He, he used only a selection of... Uh, Resolutions for windowed mode versus full screen. Look at look how many full screen. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, resolutions, um, but uh, it still works fine. And then there's a uh, different theme. So you got grim dark, <laughs> uh, default, and steel, and gameplay options. So you can uh, change different stuff. Yep. All right. So you got scenarios, there's only one scenario. This game is currently in alpha. It's almost in beta, but it is still in alpha. So you got scenarios there, and uh, there's only one of those at the moment. You can choose your difficulty there. Or you got the uh, campaign. So you can put your name in. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Choose your difficulty. I'm going to go with beginner. And click OK. All right, there's some uh, just some text there. It's not very important. OK, so uh, basically... This is essentially the game. Uh, what what you do is you control spaceships. So you'll you'll see, soon see what I'm talking about. All right, we'll, we'll, uh, we have let's see, we have uh, four corvettes and three fighters. They have two alien bombers and one alien scout. All right, let's take the defensive position. Oh dear. Okay. All right, so these are my ships. Uh, let's get rid of that. And basically, this is my movement arc. Now, what's interesting about this game is you have a firing arc and a movement arc. And if you are facing, for example, if you're facing this way towards Earth, you are unable to shoot at any enemy ships until you turn around. And turning around can, depending on the ship, take one or two turns if... Uh, you're in a bad position. So you can see on my mouse uh, where I can where I can move and what position I'll be facing when I do so. So uh, some weapons only work better when you're closer and so on and so forth. So you've got to uh, be a little bit tactical about where you go. We will start with these little ones. Uh, yes. And uh, of course they don't move as far. Whoops. We'll get them moving and we'll shoot at him there you go get him up here kaplow all right as far as i can see there's no actual sound for the game yet so we are a little bit quiet i'm not sure whether that'll change in beta or what the go is but uh yeah we don't have sound <laughs> Okay, what else have we got here? Ah, this one's got a missile launcher. I wanted to show off the missiles. Missiles work somewhat differently compared to other weapons. If I shoot at, say, this guy, that's the missile right there. And that takes us several turns to get to the target. Alright, so let's go to the next person. And probably move up there. And have a shot at him. Yep, very good. And some ships can't move very far at all. I'm not exactly sure why. It could be because of the weapons they have or some other issue. Or restriction, I should say. Oh, didn't do too well there. Uh, up the top here, you have uh, some uh, information. Nothing dramatic at this point in time. Alright, that is it for everyone. The other thing you can do is you can scan uh, enemy ships by pressing control and clicking, I think. 
Yep, there we go. So you can have a look at what the enemy ship has as far as weapons and other stuff like armor and so on and so forth. Uh, and determine your strategy based on that if you so desire. So let's end the turn. And there goes our missile. And oh, he just killed two of our ships. Oh, ouch. Yikes. Alright, that's not cool. So as you can see, I take I took uh, way more health off the ship because I'm much closer now. So let's go here. Shoot that bad boy. There we go. I want this missile to get there. I want to uh, shoot this fella. All right, in the turn. Ouch! Gee, this guy's strong. All right, we're going to end the turn again and show the missile. There we go. So that's how missiles work. All right, and then uh, once you finish the battle, it has a uh, a summary. I like that he's named all the people. That's pretty cool. So you can remember them. <laughs> it's a shame. One thing I would like above, above that is... Oh, and I like how it's got rescued as well. <laughs> That's cool. Um, is that it, it would be nice to see what ship they came from when they died. Anyway. Now, let's... Uh, Let's just get out here. We'll go to my load game. Alright, so basically what I've done is... Oh, hang on. Ooh. I think I've lost my save game here because I saved on autosave. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. We'll just return to the game. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, I know all about the movement. Alright, uh, yeah, basically what I was going to show you was, I'll just disable that, is uh, you can actually, there is more to the game than just fighting uh, aliens. You can actually uh, build stuff and research things, just like in XCOM. Alrighty, let's... So we've got two more battles, I think, and then uh, actually what we'll do is auto-resolve, and I'll show you that. So this is the auto-resolve. Wondering if you can turn that off midway. Ah, oh, too late. Okay, well, we didn't lose anybody. That's not bad. The auto resolve fights better than me. <laughs> Alright, we've got one last battle. No, we don't. We've got uh, more than one. Alright, we'll auto resolve this one too. And we'll see if we can stop it midway through. Um, doesn't look like we can. Oh, yes, we can. Alright, so if we don't like what's going on or we want to finish the battle ourselves, we can stop auto-resolve and just do what we like. But oh, we'll just continue with auto-resolve. You die now. <laughs> oh, ouch. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Alright. Yep, this is the last battle, the last tutorial battle, I guess. We'll just auto-resolve it. This is their big mothership here that's attacking Earth. Oh, lots of missiles coming out of me. You can see numbers flying out. That gives you uh, some uh, information. So I think it's shield and then health and some percentage number for some reason. I'm not exactly sure what it's for. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This could be close. Oh dear. Looks like we lost. <laughs> yes, we did. Last time I auto-resolved that... Oh, game over. Last time I auto-resolved that, he uh, actually... I actually won that. Damn it, we have to uh, go through it all again. Well, I might pause the video just uh, and win that battle. I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. We have just destroyed the big, uh, big enemy. So let's continue on. And blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, we get on to the next area of the game, and that is uh, the factions and, and uh, construction and so on. 
So here's all the factions that we can con contact. We've got the United States, of course. There's their GDP and their population and, and all the others. So we've got a few countries to deal with. Basically, what you do is you do diplomatic actions. So let's go with the United States, go with the diplomatic action. We can offer an alliance, for example. Uh, let's review last month's results. Nothing there. Few current missions, no. All right, let's offer an object, a uh, an alliance. Sorry, and we'll go with advanced. We'll handle the uh, negotiations ourselves. Okay, we can invite the United States to the supervisory council. We can give them unilateral control. <coughs> control, assert our independence from national oversight or talk to the other nations before making a decision. Uh, let's see, well, we'll go and uh, do supervisory. And they agree. Excellent. So let's close that up. And we might go with uh, Japan. Sorry, China. And we'll offer an alliance... We'll invite uh, Japan to the Supervisory Council. They agree. Excellent. Okay, so that's it. That's that for... Uh, um, yeah, so then uh, what you can do is you can change uh, production stuff. So you got upkeep here, and then you got uh, production, fleet repair, fleet resupply, research, and recruitment and training. And yeah, that's about it. And then so you got uh, unassigned crew here. So you got veterans, regulars, greens, and poor, which is unlimited. So let's uh, do uh, well. It says we need one for fleet resupply. So we'll do that. And we got some money left, so we can do maybe some research. Forty-six. Um, and maybe another one and a couple more there a couple more here some more there and maybe some recruiting all right so this all takes place at midnight apparently so we'll close that up and yeah then we have uh, construction and colonies of course we have nothing at the moment, but we can change that. Uh, we can build. Hmm. Oh, we'll change it. Uh, we can build uh, ships, or um, that's it right now. So we'll do. Uh, oh dear, let's see. Everything takes time, of course. So, hmm. Oh, we can also create our own ship, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty nifty. All right, we won't do that because it will take a little bit too much time, uh, too much fiddling on uh, camera. Uh, so let's just build a gun gun corvette that'll do, and we'll close that up. And then we have research. So all this stuff we can research. Oh dear. All right. Um, let's see. Global industrial base, conventional warhead, radiator panels, basic computer. Maybe that. Um, oh, we can't. Looks like we don't have enough. Oh, research is already complete on that. Okay, so that's the actually the uh, the grey ones. All right, we'll go with uh, computer, I guess. Uh, enable settlement leads to all these things. Yeah, that sounds good, actually. Uh, let's research that. Excellent. All right, I've no idea how long that'll actually take. Oh, 289 days. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a long time. Okay, so then uh, we have titanium ur uranium. Okay, so all right, then we have offices. Here are all our offices. Gee, we've got a lot, don't we? Goodness, this is, it's got a pretty large scope. This game, I have to say. Uh, you can sort by name or rank. And we had it pause the whole time, so all right, let's speed her up. 
Okay, now that the first battle has been fought, news of our existence has spread all over the globe. Our initial success has brought with it a wave of public goodwill and legitimacy. We are now able to abandon all secrecy surrounding our operations and act openly on a larger scale than before. Excellent. Alright. So, ooh, construction complete. Earth has finished construction of the K-Gun Corvette. Um... Let's see here. We'll open the build management screen. We can also edit the ships, it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So if we don't like certain elements of it, then uh, we can change that. Alright. So, looks like Mars... Okay, so you can put... Uh, you can put ships on different... Yeah, you can put ships on different um, planets. So on Earth, we've got the first defense squadron, the second defense squadron, third, and new ships. Let's uh, see if we can't put this in with other things. Yes, we can. All right, maybe we'll put that in the first, first defense squadron here. There we go. Yay! So we've got three squadrons here. Uh, we could move... Uh, let's just... What's this do? All right. Oh, they're just uh, icons. Right. Um, okay, so Earth, we can move... I think we can move this over there. Ah, okay. So you need long-range life support on ships to be able to go to other planets. All right. Gee, this game is extremely uh, involved. Okay, uh, we've uh, we've done a, another one. We'll go with the build screen and... Put in another missile corvette. Uh, one small criticism of the game is you can't just repeat. Um, you can't repeat things as far as I can see. I'll just double check that though. Not sure you can't. It doesn't seem like you can put a number or anything, so you have to continually change it. Um, which is probably good and bad, I guess. Uh, oh, you can promote people too. Ready for promotion. Well, there you go. Oh. No, we don't want to do that, because they're uh, going to suffer for it. Alright. So it looks like this is where the enemy is. Yep. Yeah. So, <laughs> as you can see, look how big that is. Like, that's the whole star system well there's Pluto it's even more than that like you're going all the way out there that's pretty nifty like it's very involved I think he's done a good job on it yeah all right so that's about the long and short of it I think uh, well, let's uh, add some more people we'll at Germany good old Germany they've never done anything bad oh hang on uh, <laughs> We'll add them to the Supervisory Council. They agree to our terms. Excellent. And we have 40 spare, so we should probably add some production there. That looks good. Maybe a bit more. Yep, that's excellent. And add some more to research. Two, one, zero. All right, beautiful. Okay. And who else can we add? United Kingdom. Alright. And that'll do. Four, four people. Yep. We'll, we'll uh, add China to the uh, associated member. And France. Brazil. Okay, so you can you can uh, request a uh, emergency budget increase. That's pretty cool. Uh, associated member, Canada, uh, associated, associated, a bit more, associated, Spain, associated, Australia. 
Oh, Australia has to be on the supervisory council. Of course. <laughs> Mexico associated. <clears throat> Indonesia. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Yeah, the one thing that strikes me about this game is it has a lot of depth. And there's a lot of different things going on. So you can... Ah, so we have 150 spare now. So... Ah, oh, cool. So they they actually give us lots of money. Yeah, so you can do a lot of the different things, like there's fighting and there's uh, diplomatic stuff and then there's production and research and so on. Hmm. It's very much like XCOM, I have to say. All right, put that up to 60. Get that up to 90, let's say. Uh, fleet resupply. Put that up to 70. And 60 and 90. Oops. All right, we'll just leave some spare for there. All right. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Solar War. You can pick it up from from Desura for around 13 bucks. It's between uh, 10 and 13 dollars, depending on where you live. And you can also pick it up from their website, I believe which I think just links links you to Desura but I'll put both in the description you can check out the um, you can check out the website and uh, any other pertinent links I'll put in the description also so thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and we'll see you next time Shiver me timbers <laughs>